Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. You probably already know that there are multiple versions of Lightroom. For example, there's Lightroom Classic. There's a version of Lightroom that Adobe simply calls Lightroom. There are mobile versions of Lightroom. And there's a version of Lightroom for a web browser called the web version of Lightroom. Now, overall, Adobe does a pretty good job of making sure that editing features are the same across all these different applications. But every now and then, there'll be an editing feature that's available in one of the applications that isn't available in the others. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deal with that. For example, currently, there is an editing feature that's available in the mobile version of Lightroom and the web version of Lightroom that isn't available in the version of Lightroom that Adobe simply calls Lightroom or available in Lightroom Classic. Well, I'm a Lightroom Classic user and I'd like to access this feature. I'm going to show you how to do it. Also, I'll show you how to access a feature that might only be in Lightroom Classic and not in the version of Lightroom that you're using. Now, I have Lightroom Classic open. I have these two images. They're unedited RAW files. And let's just say that I want to access this new feature. It's only available in the mobile version of Lightroom and the web version of Lightroom. To do that, I need to get these two images up to the cloud. To do that in Lightroom Classic, select all of the images that you want up in the cloud, as I just did. Then go down to your collections and click the little plus sign and click Create Collection. Now, what you need to do is put all of the images that you want sent up to the cloud in this collection. And you could call it anything you want. I'm going to call mine Synced Collection. All right. I'm going to include the selected photos and I'm going to sync with Lightroom. When you check that checkbox, it will send these images up to the cloud. I'll click Create. Now I have this collection. It's I called it Sync Collection. You'll also notice that if to, I go to the left, there's this little weird arrow here. That little weird arrow indicates that this is a collection that will sync its contents with the cloud. You don't have to create a new collection to do that. You could take any existing collection and make it a synced collection. If you just go, let's say, to the left of Enhanced Sky, you'll notice that little arrow appears. I could click on that. I'm not going to, but I could click on that, and it will sync any images that are in that collection or any images I put into that collection in the future to the cloud. Now, I have this collection, sync collection. These two images are getting synced to the cloud. To check the status of the sync, go up and click this little cloud, and you could see that it's syncing two photos. So you're going to have to wait until these two photos are uploaded to the cloud. How fast this happens depends on how many photos you're syncing, how large they are, and the speed of your internet connection. Now, as you can see, it says it's synced. So they're synced to the cloud. Now, if I go to the mobile version of Lightroom, the version of Lightroom they simply call Lightroom, or the web version of Lightroom, these images should be there. So if I go to the version of Lightroom simply called Lightroom, you'll notice down in the film strip, they're there. There's the lighthouse, and there's the old farmhouse. There's also an image here of our cat. I'll talk about that more in a moment. Now, if I go to the web version of Lightroom, I'll refresh the page, and then you see those images are here. Now, I mentioned that this feature I want to access is available in the mobile version of Lightroom and in the web version of Lightroom. So I'm going to access it in the web version. I'm going to take this image right here of the lighthouse, and I'm going to go over here and see where this little magic wand tool is. If I hover over that, you'll see it says Quick Actions. These are relatively new, and as of the making of this video, they're only available in the web version and the mobile versions of Lightroom. So I want to use quick actions on this image. So I'm going to click that little um, like magic wand, and you'll notice that it's saying I could do a one-click auto light in color or just convert it to black and white. But you'll also notice this part pulsating right here. This is the part I actually want to use. What it's doing is it's examining my scene in my image here, and it's going to come up with suggestions, like suggested edits. Now, this takes some time to do, so I'm going to actually pause the recording, and when this comes back with the, it's going to be five suggestions, you'll see, um, I'll restart the recording and we'll continue.
Okay, it finished and you could see it gave me five suggestions. Futuristic, black and white, vintage, travel, and lifestyle. I could click there to show more. But let's just say I kind of like this black and white one. So I could click on it to apply it. Now, once it's applied, I could modify it. I could go down here and remove people. I could put more emphasis on the subject by moving the slider to the right. Now, unfortunately, because I'm working with the web version of Lightroom, it has to communicate uh, via the internet to the image that is up, you know, in the in the web space to do the edit. So it's a little slow. If you're working on the mobile version of Lightroom, of course, it would probably be a lot faster because the image is locally on your uh, mobile device. So if I want to emphasize the background, I could do that. If I want to de-emphasize the sky, I could do that. If I want to put more emphasis on the architecture, I could do that. If I want to put a little more emphasis on the water, natural ground, and so on. If I want to add blur, if I want to do something strong, subtle, something else, I could do that. But let's just say for the sake of argument that I like this edit. Once you're satisfied with your edit, just save it. So we'll click on save. And then once it's done, like with the circle spinning here, and it's now updating it in the cloud, we could close it down on the web version of Lightroom. You could see that it's edited there. And if I go to the version of Lightroom that Adobe simply calls Lightroom, you could see that our edit is there. And if I go to Lightroom Classic, it's going to take a little longer to show up here. Um, you'll notice it isn't here yet. If we click on the little clouds over here, you can see that it's syncing one photo. So this will take a little longer because it's got to download the edited image here. It's still going to be an, a raw file, so it's a non-destructive edit. And I could re-edit it in Lightroom Classic, or if I choose, I could re-edit it on a mobile version of Lightroom or on the version of Lightroom simply called Lightroom if I want to. And all those edits will sync across all of the different devices and the different versions of Lightroom. So I'll probably have to pause the recording. Oh, it's saying it's synced. Sometimes it takes a second to kick in here. But um, when it does, you'll notice then that all the edits are here as well. It just sometimes takes a while. Sometimes if you jump over the develop module and then jump back to the library module, it will sync. But what I'll do is I'll again, so you don't have to sit here and wait for it to sync, I'll, oops, it's going to do it now, I could tell, yeah, because I just saw the histogram move. But you can see it takes a second, so it isn't, like, very fast, you know, but it is a way for you to access edits or an editing feature that's available in a different version of Lightroom. So, cool, now I have my edits here, and you go, see, if I go to the develop module, you can see that edits were done to the image. You can see textures way up here, converted to black and white. Uh, the tone curve was edited color grading was done but there was an edit done here so i could re-edit it if i want but what about the other way around uh let's say someday there's a feature that's in lightroom classic but it's not in the version of lightroom that you're using uh, what can you do well first of all obviously you have to download lightroom classic onto your computer then what i recommend you do is go over to your file system and what you want to do is to create a folder for all your synced images. I already have one. If you look through my uh, folders or my images, you can see I have one called synced images. You don't have to call it that. You could call it anything you want. To do that, go to the root folder, right click on it, and then create folder inside. And my root folder is called Lightroom. Yours could be called something else. But just create the folder inside of it and give it a name. And you don't want to probably include any photos. So just give it a name and then it will show up in alphabetical order down here. Now, again, I called mine synced images. Now, after you do that, I'll go to that folder. As you can see, there's our picture of a cat Rocky. Now, once you have this folder created, you need to go to Lightroom Preferences. On a Mac, Lightroom Preferences is under the Lightroom Classic menu right here. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you open up Preferences, go to the tab that's called Lightroom Sync. Then, this part right here for location, check this box, specify location for Lightroom synced images, and click choose. Then navigate to that folder you just created. You can see it's mine's there. 
I created it. It's ready to go. Synced images. So mine's ready to go. Once you're done that, done that, close that down. Now, if you take a photo with your mobile device or your tablet, if you take photos with tablet, uh, if you take any photos from within Lightroom, so you have an iPhone and you open up Lightroom on your iPhone and take a picture, that photo will automatically show up in this folder. Now, it automatic is a relative term it's you saw how long it took for mine to sync to lightroom classic it may take a minute or three just keep lightroom open on your mobile device until it actually syncs and it will tell you it's synced and then you'll know that eventually it's going to show up in this folder that you've created so that's the easy way but what if you're using the desktop version of lightroom that's the version of lightroom that adobe simply calls lightroom and you don't have any images in the cloud. You have them all here locally. So we go to the local uh, tab in Lightroom. And we'll go to an image, a specific image. And I want to go to one that I know isn't in my version of Lightroom Classic. I think this one. So this one I'm pretty sure isn't in Lightroom Classic at all. If it's already in Lightroom Classic, it may not sync uh, with Lightroom Classic. So this image... What you need to do is go here and copy one photo to the cloud. And then it's going to come up with this. Just click OK. It's going to copy the photo and all its edits to the cloud. Then when you go to the cloud tab of this version of Lightroom, it'll be in the cloud here. Now, once it's in the cloud here and it's uploaded, you got to click on little clouds over here and you just wait. You see it's syncing one item. So right now it's uploading the image from my computer to the cloud so you have to wait for that to finish once that image is uploaded it will get shared everywhere else meaning it will show up on your mobile devices it will show up in Lightroom Classic so I may pause the video again or the recording so you don't have to watch this spinning circle okay we're back you can see that it says it's synced and backed up so this image is now in the cloud so if I open up uh, Lightroom on my mobile device or on my tablet it will be there and more importantly it will show up in that folder we created in Lightroom Classic called synced images you can see it's not there yet I click on the little cloud here you can see it's syncing one photo so again this will really depend on your internet the speed of your internet connection and how big the file is so I'll let this finish I'll probably pause the video again here so you don't have to watch the spinning circle. Okay, you'll notice that it says synced. And if we look down here in the film strip, here's the image. It showed up in this folder that I created that is my synced folder. Now, again, if I do any edits here, those edits will be uploaded as well. And those edits will show up on my mobile devices, the web version of Lightroom, and the version of Lightroom simply called Lightroom. So all the edits are shared everywhere. And that's how you could share images across all the different versions of Lightroom and edits as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.